are your pockets empty are you broke not because you don't work but because you have so many debts you have so many loans from bank loans shylocks uh, um, cooperatives um sacos <laughs> Fuliza, all types of debts from everywhere. This is something which is really ailing so many people across the whole country and uh, the world at large. And uh, people don't know that this has a spiritual connotation. And actually, debt is a disease. It is a disease of the mind. <laughs> and people do not really want to hear this because, oh, come on, I, ca I can't have that type of disease of the mind. What do you tell me, Kay, that this thing has to do with some spiritual aspect? My friend, let me tell you, debt is a, type, is a type of sin. And I'm going to tell you this because one thing, the reason you take that uh, debt or that loan is because you don't even trust that God can provide for you. You're first already showing God, I, I can only trust this, what I have. I don't think that you can provide for me. That's why many people have kept themselves in debt and this is what i'm going to speak about today and help you to get yourself out from those loans and debts and things that you cannot be able to get yourself out because it's like strings once you finish one you get a top-up loan and you get another one and another it's like you 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 just in a some type of a roller coaster remember the bible says very clearly in the book of um Proverbs 22 verse 7, the rich rules over the poor and the borrower is a servant to the lender. Are <laughs> you a borrower? Then you're a servant to the one who lend you the money. And this is the thing that I just want you to get out of your mind because unless you're someone who is able to give, how can you ever be living in a satisfied life? You see, God wants us to live a satisfied life. He wants us to have the fullness of all things because he has given us all things. But then if you are a servant to someone because of the things that you took, if I call you and I tell you, hey, bro, let's go to Ethiopia, we got some preaching. You will tell me, no, I can't go. You see, I have a debt that I have to pay. You see, I have this, I have this. So you are chained in some place. And that's exactly what Satan wants to do to chain you that you can never move forward you can never do the things that you love because these loans are a disease my friend in the book of romans uh, 13 verse 8 the apostle paul says "Owe no man anything but to love one another the only thing that you should owe anyone is love i give you i help you out i touch your life i help the needy i do great things that God has put in my life. But then, how do we find ourselves in loans? How do we find ourselves in loans? Uh, taking, uh, so I mean, in, in debts, taking loans and all these things. What is this major thing? All right? It is because um, people do not do their calculations. Sometimes, before you get a, 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 a loan, do some calculation. Ask yourself, is it, am I taking this loan just because I'm seeing some offer that, hey, you can get this 24-hour uh, quick loan and I just want to get that money? Do your calculation. Even the Bible tells us to do some math before you go into something. And this is the thing that people don't do. Listen to what the Bible says in the book of Luke, chapter 14, verse 28. For which of you intending to build a tower? sits not down first and counts the cost, whether he has sufficient to finish it. This is the Bible telling you who is this guy who starts to build a tower, to build a building, and he doesn't count the costs. You start the foundation, but you have no thought of how you're going to finish it. That is exactly how people do things when they are getting these loans. And at the end of the day, you have not counted the cost, you don't know how you're going to pay it, and you just get into this. It's like a trap. It's like a, a, a bird seeing some 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 pellets of a, you know maize and things like. That. And then they just start tapping, tapping. And they don't know this is a trap. My friend, Satan just wants to trap you, and waste all your time. And by the time you're finishing to pay that that loan, you're 50 years, 70 years. You're already so weak. You cannot be able to do anything about your life. That is the roller coaster kind of life that people are living in. 
you don't have to have too much you, you see we always run in to compete with others i want what he has i want what he has i want what he has. so let me pick this loan and that loan and that my friend by the time you're finishing all these loans and paying the debts you are in a situation whereby you have no energy and your time is far much gone we need to have some type of satisfaction. Most of the people taking these loans is just because they lack satisfaction from within. You just want more and more and more and more. And uh, you can't, there's a deep hole within you which you're trying to fill and uh, you don't seem to understand what it is. So the first thing to deal with these loans is learn to be satisfied with whatever you have, whatever God has given you. Learn to have gratitude. Thank you, God you've given me life. Thank you, you've given me a bed to sleep. You've given me this and that. And I don't need to have too much to be like someone else. You can be what you are with whatever you have and grow it slowly. All right? G grow it uh, slowly. And uh, the Bible tells us one thing. If you need something, God is always willing to open up your mind to be able to receive ideas to get money even without having to take debts and these loans. You understand? Let me show you what the Bible says. In the book of Deuteronomy 28 verse 12, the Bible says, The Lord shall open unto you his good treasure. You hear? God shall open unto you what? His good treasure. The heaven to give the rain unto your land in his season. The heaven. I told you the heaven is in the mind. The kingdom of God is within you so god is going to open heaven the ideas are going to drop because they always drop from heaven to give you rain unto his land unto your land in his season and to bless all the work of your hand and you shall lend unto many nations and you shall not borrow my friend if you need something ask of god he shall give you wisdom on how to make more without having to take debts you understand this so don't underestimate God because some people just underestimate and they said, I don't think God can provide. This, this, this is a special case. My friend, God can give you all the wisdom you need to be able to overcome this. And this is just a matter of satisfaction. You are not satisfied. That's the reason you keep on taking more and more loans every day. And listen to this. The Bible tells us uh, in the book of Psalms 37 verse 21, this is how people behave some people you get but you don't give the bible says the wicked borrows and pays not again but the righteous shows mercy and gives some people their problem is that they borrow too much but they don't even pay back it is an inbuilt and satisfaction thing i want to have more than everybody else i will not pay them i'll not pay them and if you are just like that kind of person you you are being called by the bible a wicked man so what do you need to do Matthew 6, 31, verse 33. Bible says, Therefore, take no thought, saying, What shall we eat? What shall we drink? Where shall we be clothed? With what shall we be clothed? But seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. You're struggling so much to take a loan from circle one, bank two, this person, that person. All you need is to seek first the kingdom of God. Remove that mentality of being unsatisfied. And all these things shall be added unto you. My friend, there is no better way to live than without having, uh, than uh, living without a debt. There is nobody calling you in the early or wee hours of the night trying to tell you, hey, please, my money. Those phone calls are, are, are really traumatizing. All you need to do, my friend, seek first the kingdom of God here in the mind ask god hey what do you want of me and god is going to download the whole heaven and give you as many ideas that your land will be filled will be filled with plenty like i told you the ideas god is, is going to give you they're going to translate into your talent and that talent is just basically god opening your talent and showing you hey you're a good carpenter hey you're a good marketer hey go and do this and this but because we don't listen from god we keep on running after the flesh running after what we see in our three dimensional five senses then we never listen from within what god is trying to tell us and that's why we never achieve so from today change your mindset change the way you articulate things change your desire for taking loans 
and start trusting in God. Seek first the kingdom and all these things shall be added unto you.